Hello YouTube, today I'm going to go over landing in Kerbal Space Program. So the first thing you need to do before you can do anything else is get into the sphere of influence of whatever it is you want to land on. And you need to bring your periapsis down to below probably 10 kilometers. It depends on how rough the terrain is on there. But uh, for example, for the moon, you're safe pretty much around 6 kilometers. You're not going to hit the ground. And you can usually get a good judge of this just by looking at whether your orbit intersects the, um, you know, the object in the map. So anyway, for the moon I've gone for around 5 kilometers. that generally works quite well. And um, you need to know how to set that up. If you don't know how to set that up, then look at my other tutorials. But I've just burnt straight from low carbon orbit to actually get into this position. So, landing. Uh, this is obviously going to be on bodies that don't have any atmosphere, like the moon or Minmus. But uh, if you want to know how to land on other places, like places with an atmosphere, then that's pretty easy, you just put parachutes on your rocket or your lander. Anyway, we're going to time warp in now and basically what we're going to do is wait till we get to this point and then set, just burn retrograde basically and try and control our velocity. So I'm going to go out the map view now and a useful tip is to hit V to force the camera into free mode so it doesn't start moving about as you circularize your orbit, circularize your orbit because it can play up. And I'm also going to deploy my landing gear and now we need to pay close attention to a couple of things. We need to know that um, we need to pay attention to the nav ball. And we need to pay attention to our vertical speed because when that starts going up, that means that we're reaching our periapsis and we're going to start heading up again. So once that gets to maybe 50 meters a second, um, minus 50 meters a second, sorry, that's when you're going to want to start burning probably um, because you will be coming in very, very fast. And you'll see we're just going over the terrain here. It's a really low periapsis. You might want to aim for something a bit higher than this to be safe. But basically now we need to burn off all our horizontal speed, but still try and keep ourselves going down um, at 10 meters a second or so. So to do that, we're just going to adjust our pitch. Um, and we're going to be near the horizon. If, if our vertical speed starts to go down, then we need to pitch up a little bit towards the blue half. And if our vertical speed starts to go up, then we need to pitch down a little bit. And we want to keep it just under zero, ideally. And we're going to keep doing that until our, um, you know, we've bled off all of this horizontal velocity that we have. And you'll see there we're falling down a bit fast now, so I'm pitching up a little bit. And our retrograde marker is actually shot towards the top of our nav ball, which means that uh, we're pretty much falling straight down. And now we're essentially going to burn um, and sort of push it towards the top of our nav ball, as you can see I'm doing here. And then we're going to be coming straight down and we just need to burn upwards basically. And you want to be going as slow as you can. Under 10 meters a second is safe to land, but I always try and land at just 1 or 2 meters a second if I can, because that's the safest way to do things. And you know, it looks good on video if I can land quite well. <laughs> anyway guys, that's the most efficient way and sort of the best mix of efficiency and safety way of landing in Kerbal Space Program. You don't have to come from a trajectory like I did. You can get that periapsis in any way that you need to. And if you get your periapsis from a sort of circular orbit, then actually you'll end up having to bleed off less speed. But it's less efficient overall. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video and I hope it helped. If it did, then it'd be awesome if you could give the video a thumbs up and a favorite so more people can see it and to help me. Anyway, as always, have a nice day.